What I believe is unprecedented is for a member of House leadership of either party to be unable to condemn incitement of violence. We need to activate the 4chan internet sleuths and find out, did we just find AOC's burner account over on Twitter? Because if so, who lads, this could be one of the up. I see a meat to balls that might lead to some very serious ramifications considering the burner account threatened to kill somebody. Ooh, lads, let's dive into this. This is the right scoop. Did AOC's burner Twitter get busted? Could be. And ooh, boy, woo, boy, does it have an archive. So here you got this dude. Joe Biden hates black people. We already off to a great start. Already off to a fantastic start. Joe Biden hates black people. He responds to AOC when AOC is getting triggered by lives of TikTok. And this goofball rando starts replying in first person. Now, listen, you can just chalk that up to the fact that Twitter's a little bit wonky. And somebody might think that they're being talked to when, in fact, the dude was talking to AOC. He's like, oh, okay, well, listen, maybe this goofball, it's a mentally ill lefty. So, boy, it would be really on par for them to be completely schizophrenic and just responding to voices in their head. Stick your genitalia into a blender. Don't do that. Don't listen to that voice in your head. Ooh, there are a lot of voices in your head. That one's trying to get you all beat up. But anyway, here you got this dude. And uh, he's responding to AOC, the lives of TikTok, and the, this goofball comes in and says, Lols, what makes you think that I did anything in regards to his tweet with AOC? He's responding in first person. The guy was talking to AOC, not you, idiot. This is in the response section to the AOC's Twitter feed. And so the guy goes, whoa, well, that's weird. Hey, is this AOC's burner account? Boom, blocked. Whoa, okay, again. It could just be one of these weak lefties who needs to ban everybody because Fifi's and really low self-esteem and daddy issues. Okay, so, okay, all right, all right. So Zaza, Zaza smoke a block you. No big deal, no big deal. Looks a little bit weird. Okay. This isn't the first time that this account is responding into first person when people are talking to AOC. Here's another situation over here. And another one. <laughs> it, just, it just keeps it keeps happening. Well, it, the schizophrenic Twitter guy that cracked the code. Yes, I'm AOC or whatever. Ooh, I'm in, I'm in your walls. So now they got Zaza Demon to start responding to people saying that this is AOC's burner account. That's the pin tweet, by the way, by this lunatic. So now they're like, oh, oh, I triggered all of these right wing terrorists. On Twitter, I'm gonna I'm gonna lean into it. I'm gonna mock them. I'm gonna pin that tweet. Okay, that's actually the right thing to do if you're not AOC. That that that's on that that's no that's on fire. That's how you fight in this information war, right? All right. Interesting, interesting. So here's where it gets really interesting. The account ends up getting deleted. <laughs> this account no longer exists. So. Went from lols, you dumb idiots. Wind it back. First, it goes into standing up for AOC, white knighting for AOC, and responding in first person whenever somebody attacks AOC. Could just be a rando weirdo. It's a lefty, at bare minimum. Okay. Then goes into lols, you dumb idiots think I'm AOC. Lols, I'm going to mock you. I'm going to pin that tweet. You could monetize that. <laughs> I mean, you could make sure you could do all types of stuff with that. Now you've got, I don't know, tens of thousands of people now flooding into your Twitter feed and you're leaning into it. But then all of a sudden you delete it. Now, now you've gone, oh crap. Now I'm going to hit the delete button. Why? Well, maybe, <laughs> maybe because here's Matt Walsh. He's responding to AOC came to the conclusion years ago that the uh, trans movement is the greatest evil across our, fun our country. I only become more and more sure of this and the fact passing each day and more and more determined to oppose it until my last breath. Well, in response to that, Zazadema says, you are a hateful little freak and I can't wait until you piss off trans person that actually is an unhinged as you are. And then, oh, where's the other one? It says, bigots, bigots like you can't exist if they can't breathe anymore, something like this. 
Why do I gotta come all the way over here and hit this? There we go. Can't be a bigot if you're no longer breathing. Can't be a, that's, oh, it's a slight death threat. A slight, slight in your face death threat. From somebody who's responding a lot in first person to AOC tweets. Almost like, hmm, might be AOC. Listen, if it's not AOC, whatever, who cares? This, this, entire, this entire interaction, the entire story is funny. We got a lefty to delete their Twitter account. That's just funny. That's just a win. Now, if it is AOC, oh, lads. Oh, lads. Here's the most beautiful part of this. Let, let's, let's, let's go out. Let's, conspiracy theory, wide limb. If it is AOC, boy, Elon Musk could let us know. <laughs> Elon Musk would know if the tweets from AOC and this burner account are coming from the same device. Elon Musk would have the receipts. He would have the metadata. He would have the analytics. He would have everything. <laughs> this could this could get very interesting and if it does we'll let you know more as it unfolds thank you guys so much for watching the video support the channel if you want to be kept up to date with the possibility of aoc threatening to kill people sending death threats in the direction of people like matt walsh under the guise of a burner account oh, please make this be real <laughs> please let this be real hit that subscribe button and make way because the salt must flow